nothing so fast. We'll go over the levee. You're lying here helpless. Shandy boat, Captain. Good. see their disapproving faces when I walk into Chief Dumont's office. The prodigal returned. It will be like old times, eh, monsieur? Mm, no, Baptiste, not quite. Because now I can prove to them who's the boss at Duval's Landing. Since everybody thinks you were drowned in the flood, all you have to do is to stay hidden here till we get you cleared of that murder charge. But I can't sit around here waiting for you to get me out. But what can you do? You have no idea who the murderer is. Well, I won't find out hiding here. I'll have a talk with Chief Dumont and see how the wind blows. Maybe something will turn up that will give us a clue. Like the murderer, for instance? Oh, well, you might, if he thinks you're dead. All right. I promise. Thank you, boy. Monsieur, you do not look like Monsieur Clayton now. Mm, you're right. I'm no longer Clayton the River Rat. I'm Duval, landowner. Hand me the suit, Baptiste. Napoleon, all I want is a clue. Put on your thinking cap. I got on my thinking cap, Mr. Steve, but ain't nothing in it. I don't get no further than you do. Steve, you remember our suspicion that my shanty was cut loose the other night during the storm? Yeah. Well, I was right. Look at this. Found it on the riverbank near the post where my shanty was moored. Baptiste. This certainly is a clue, Pop. Baptiste is one of the Cajuns who captured Napoleon and me and brought us in. I bet that same Baptiste is the one who hit me over my head while I was asleep. And that ain't all. That bearded man that was with him is the same one was on this boat. Bearded man? Clayton has a beard. Then he's the man who tried to kill Jenny and me and burn the boat. Things are beginning to add up. I wonder if Clayton and Baptiste are together in this plot. What plot, son? A plot to kill off everybody around here who owns Swampland. Mr. Steve, you sure is motivating. I think I'll run over and have a little heart-to-heart -heart talk with Batiste. 
Does he still live in the same place? In the same cabin. But you ain't figuring on getting off this boat, is you? We're not getting anywhere sitting around here. You remember what you promised Miss Jenny? Well, they'll nab you the minute you set foot on shore. No, they won't. Napoleon, you put a rowboat over the side and borrow some clothes from one of the roustabouts. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Captain, but we haven't found a trace of Steve Langtry or Napoleon. Oh, this is terrible. And his memory blackened by a murder he didn't commit. What makes you so positive he's not the murderer? Well, I've known him since he was that high. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Well, come on, Jenny. If it takes to my dying day, Dumont, I'm going to prove that boy's innocence. Yeah? Paul Duval to see you, Chief. Did you say Duval? Yes, sir. Send him in. Paul Duval. But well, he hasn't been around here in years. By thunder, it is Paul Duval. How do you do, Captain Farron? It's been a long time, hasn't it? A long time is right. Ten or fifteen years, I guess. So you're Jean Duval's brother, Paul. I'm sorry to hear of your brother's death. Sit down. No, thanks. I'm here in regard to the Duval estate. I presume that my brother left a will. I'm afraid that's a little out of my line. I'm afraid you'll have to go see Mr. Brookins, the attorney for the estate. Of course. The uh, clerk outside will give you the necessary information. Oh, thank you. And good day. Good day, Captain. Good day, sir. Duval's back in town. Paul Duval? Hey, Paul Duval's back. If this is true, very much trouble comes. Paul Duval, he's come back. He took command of the old plantation. What's this about Duval? That was the brother of the Duval who was killed. We have not seen him in this town for 15 years. He was always the bad one. Excuse me, please. Well, Celeste, things are beginning to look brighter. What do you mean? From what I've heard of the brother, he's not above turning a dishonest dollar. Perhaps we can do business with him. Well, Paul Duval is back. Just saw him at police headquarters. <laughs> Whose bank is he robbed now? Well, that's not the point. He's inherited Duval's estate. But what about the Acadian pact between our three families? Is he going to live up to it? Or is he going in with those strangers? Did you ask him? No, it wasn't the time or place. Where, Steve? Going ashore. Going ashore? Yeah, we found a clue that points to Baptiste as being in on these murders. Uh, Mr. Steve, he went out into the swamps, out to Mr. Baptiste's cabin to make him tell everything he knows. Somebody will see him. He'll be arrested. Uh -uh. He'll outsmart him this time. pretty sure that Baptiste is in cahoots with a bearded man named Clayton. And he figures that Clayton is the man who committed the murder. That's it. Now I know where I've seen him before. Paul Duvall is Clayton. He's the man who tried to kill me on the boat the night of the fire. They're the same person. Oh, don't talk nonsense, child. I swear it. I remember the eyes. That strange, piercing look. Now, take it easy. But it all adds up. Paul Duvall inherits the estate, doesn't he? He knows there's something valuable on it. There's your motive for the murder. But you can't go around accusing people without evidence. I know. That's why we need Steve. Oh, but he'll tip the whole thing off to Batiste, who'll go straight to Duval. How long ago did he leave? Oh, about a half hour ago. You're not going after him. Of course. Well, it's too late now. No, it isn't. Now, the swampland is no place for a woman. I won't let you go. Besides, Steve can take care of himself. And well, that's being a sensible girl.
Where's Jenny? Where is you going? I'm going after Steve. Now, don't you say anything. You can't go by yourself. Wait a minute. I'll go with you. You stay here. Do you want to be caught? I don't know what your father gonna say when he hears. Don't you tell him, Napoleon. Captain, Miss Jenny's going into the swamps after Mrs. Steve. What? Well, stop her. It's too late now. She's gone. I didn't come here for that. I came here because Clayton was arrested this morning and he named you, Batiste, as his accomplice. Ah, you make one big bluff, monsieur. I do not know this man, Clayton. You disappeared from the boat the same night he did. And he was with you when you captured Napoleon. You think you are one smart man, no? Smart enough. You won't thank me for telling these things to police. Oh, perhaps you still are afraid of police, monsieur. You're guilty and you know it. Now get on your feet. If you won't talk to me, maybe the police will make you talk. Get up! Go on, go on. Come into this swamp alone, huh? Are you following someone with those bloodhounds? That is my very private business, mademoiselle. You won't tell me? No, no. Well, strange. Well, strange. Come on.
Ah, monsieur. The quick sign, she is friend of Baptiste. She never give up what she killed. Quicksand, she don't give him up. Jerry! Jerry! Uh, no. 